Hello everyone, welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 with GT3 cars. At least in some capacity, there's different classes, but whatever. We have proper race cars, even more proper race cars in Horizon 5. Because of a car pack, a 7 car car pack for $10. A car pack that I never was gonna get. I mean, as much as I like the cars, you know, this Cadillac is a great vehicle. But it's already in Forza Motorsport. And Motorsport is actually getting better now, so you have more incentive to use it in Motorsport. So it's just not really worth it. It's only at $10. But if it was at, you know, hypothetically $5, well then you're actually getting $0.75 cents a car, roughly. Which makes it incredibly worth it. And... For about five hours after the car pack launched, you were able to buy it half off because they made a mistake. And I am nothing but an opportunist. So I got the pack that I had no intention of buying. And let's do some racing in some GT3 cars, shall we? And why not start out with a nice and simple five-lap circuit race around the Festival Racetrack? Seems logical. These are GT3 cars. So let's take them around a GT3 track. Now, I didn't just include the DLC cars. These are the two DLC cars right here along with it. Actually, I think that's also one of them, too. But Forza has other race cars in the game. The Mach-E is an exception, but I threw that in for a bit of fun. You got the KTM GT4 car, the Mosler, the... I just those three, but we have a plenty of variety from the get-go, just to make sure my difficulty is set right. Um, we'll start at that for now, because I think we'll go to Unbeatable. Screw it, we'll go to Unbeatable, we'll have some fun. I chose the Ford GT because it's one of my favorite GT cars ever made. Not at all because of nostalgia and the fact that I grew up my first ever Le Mans race was 2016. Not at all. But it is a brilliant car to drive. I don't know why the EVs got a horrible start, but they did. And we're just going to focus on trying to catch these Moslers. The Porsche shouldn't really be a problem. But I think the Mosler might be a bit difficult to catch in the corners. That thing is so good to drive. But they are bunching each other up. So I'm hoping I can maybe send up the inside, go three wide. Brilliant overtake. What was that? A triple overtake? Absolute commitment there. Boy made it stick. Five laps, nice and simple. <clears throat> Ignore my threat, which is actively trying to kill me. <clears throat> but it's okay. Anything from the entertainment of the viewers. Alright, let's see what we can do about these guys. They should be getting faster. The AI are usually a bit rough on the first lap. But I'm hoping the power of the mighty GT. Should be able to do well. I did have to tune the arrow on this, though, because for whatever reason, Forza, when they got these cars, installed their tune as the lowest possible setting for the wing. Which means that it had no downforce. We should be able to catapult the inside there. Nicely done on the Mosler. He's not going to be able to fight that back. He will be if I get oversteer like that. He's going to tuck in behind. I right, know. What can we do about these two? The KTM's a bit cheaty. I'm not gonna lie. I might have to exclude that from the next one. I didn't think they would pick it, but it is quite modified. And modified cars tend. Hey, that's not ideal. Tend to be faster. I was talking about modified cars and. I buggered it up like a fool. Got a great run on the exit, though. Going to try and send it up on the inside of the Porsche on the flat-out corner. Thank you. That was a proper Michael Schumacher, Fernando Alonso, 130R sort of thing. Wrong side of the track with semantics. Same idea of forcing them to give up the position or else risk an accident. And we're back up to fourth. We need to make up some ground. We only got two laps to go, but they haven't really ran away. They haven't really ran away, which is good. 
It's good for the GT's chances here. I think a win is definitely on the table. It would have been a lot easier had I not spun the wheels up like a fool trying to be brave. This is still a 530 horsepower rear wheel drive car after all. You can get oversteer if you want. Come on, baby, come on. You can do it. He's gonna try and send it around the, up the inside of the KTM. He's gonna compromise himself. I'm gonna try and capitalize on that. Thank you very much. All right, now we're gonna do a 130R around the outside of the KTM. Ugh. I had a break. I had a break a little bit, but he had a break more. All right, we got two laps to go. It's up to the bimmer. He's a little wide. I'm a little short. He's gonna get a slightly better run there. I was a little too much on the dirt. All right, can I send one up the inside? No, he has the acceleration on me. Uh, but I have the cornering, okay. Which is why I'm throwing it into the wall, because I have the cornering. It's all gonna come down to the final lap then, I think. That was a very generous checkpoint. I am really driving just awfully right now. But I still, because the AI are not exactly brilliant, have a chance of winning, really chuck it into the corners, try and carry as much corner speed as possible to offset the horsepower disadvantage, say in the slipstream here. Not, I don't have any room anywhere to go. He's gonna have a better run on the X. I sort of gave him a nudge there. Well, not sort of, I did give him a nudge. But again, I have the cornering. Really send it. There we go. On the final lap. Now he's going to have a slight run, but he had to compromise himself. Which means I should be clear. Indeed, I am. Now just don't screw it up. Alright. Just a few more corners to go. He is gaining, but not by very much. Certainly not by enough. I am really pushing my luck with that checkpoint, my god. Luckily it's the last time going around, because I think third time would not have been the charm. Just send it home. They couldn't do anything about the mighty Ford GT in proper Le Mans winning livery and all shebang. We come across the line flat out around the final corner to take P1 for the Ford. Lovely drive. Ah, I quite like GT cars in Horizon. Even when you do race them sensibly, they're still bloody good fun. And now let's see what else I can do. Okay, so my next race is a bit simple. It's not going to take very long. But I wanted to do a drag race with them, okay? Just because we don't have any drag racing in motorsport because they're idiots. And... I narrowed down the selection a little bit so we didn't get any S1 class cars modified in S2 class because they usually just add a bunch of horsepower and that would be cheating. So we got a bit more variety though, the Porsche RSR. I'm in the Chevy Corvette because I have to run an American car in a drag race. We have both Ferraris, the 488 um, Challenge car and the GTE Le Mans winning car. And then we have many... BMWs and those are for a good variety here. How we fare, I don't know. But we're gonna find, I think the, yep, he's gone. I was literally about to say, I think the, the challenge car is gonna be off into the distance. Hang on. He's in the same car as me. That's not physically possible. I got a pretty good launch there. I'm gonna look at one thing, see what my aerodynamics are, um, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn on the difficulty. I want to see something. I'm gonna turn on the difficulty and see if they're just cheaty buggers in Unbeatable. Because in previous Forza games, when you did unbeatable difficulty, it didn't necessarily add performance for the for the driver tar, it added horsepower. It was ridiculous. So let's try it on pro and see if we get a different result, because that was ri 
ridiculously stupid. I think the the Super Trofeo and the Ferrari are going to run off again. Yes, they are. I didn't get a brilliant launch this time, but I got better than others. Oh, it doesn't help the fact that it's just slow. It's just a slow car. We're gaining on the Porsche. I just don't want to be the last. I'm going to be last again. How is the other Corvette that fast? Ah, uh, we're not last, I don't think. I don't think we're last. Did we get last? Oh, that's not... I was so clearly ahead of him. <laughs> that must be the closest race you could possibly have for dead last. The exact same time down to a thousandth of a second. I want to do it one more time. Because I want to get a good launch. Okay? And I'm going to do the cheaty... Never mind, I'm already in the low downforce setting. I thought I might have reset it back to what it should be, but nope. It really is just this slow. There we go, now that's a launch. Now that is a launch. And there goes literally everybody else. The KTM up there is gone, my god. Come on, can I get in the slipstream? Get in the slipstream. Get in the slipstream, baby, come on. Come on. Uh, I was going to be close between the Porsche and the, Lam and the Lamborghini, the four. I didn't get last, though. I got 11th. <laughs> All right, we'll call it a day with the drag racing. We'll call it a day. Ugh. 17 hundredths of a second off. A tenth of a second off. Tenth. A, a top ten. Ah. Very close between the Porsche, the four and I. The KTM is just in a different zip code, though. My god, that thing is fast. As we saw in the Motorsport Showdown, as it turns out. And for our final race, you know I had to do it. We're on the Rally Cross off-road racing track. Five laps in GT3 cars, because I like chaos. We got a lot of Ferraris in this one, apparently. They were very popular. I'm a little scared about the KTM, the uh, GT4 car, but everything else is going to be um, pretty evenly matched, I think. We're all on slicks, on the dirt, and I got the big BMW. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, that's not a great launch. I think theirs was a little too great, if I'm honest. But we're gonna try and claw that time back up right here. Thank you very much, kind sir. Um, thank God this doesn't have real world damage, because holy hell, these cars would be obliterated. Gonna try and sum up the inside of the KTM. Not quite. I don't have the traction, but he went into the wall. He clearly had less traction, less grip. So we're gonna try and slide our way through here. Really got to manage that throttle. Uh, and then try and go on the inside of the water. I think third is a pretty good car. I think I'll leave it in third. I can go full throttle. And I don't really have any issues. So third is a nice gear. We'll keep it in third unless it's looking bad. Come on. Uh, this is the second gear corner. I know that's the second gear corner. Come on, turn, turn, get grip, get grip, get grip. God damn you. <laughs> there we go. They're kind of running away, though, to be honest. The Beamer is struggling off-road. Maybe it's the account of the front engine rear-wheel drive layout not helping. But, um, yeah, I'm really good on that first corner. That first corner is amazing. I make up so much time there. I'm also really good on this section. It's everything else that I just fall apart on. Come on, you big, you big, beautiful BMW M8 GTE. Oh, he's in the wall. The Ferrari is in the wall. Almost spun it. We should be able to capitalize on this. There we go. 
We are in striking range. He's going to go wide. Not really. He's out. Of, he's uh, almost spun it. He has almost spun it. We are going to say thank you very much for the position. A uh, little bit scary. Quite a lot bit scary, actually. That's not really the line you want to be taking through there. Again, though, I'm just not making any progress. Come on, BMW. For some reason, I keep wanting to say Bentley. Maybe it's because of the size of the Continental relative to the uh, M8. They're very similar. I don't know, but I want to say Bentley. Whatever it is, we need to make up the ground and make it up quickly because we only have three laps left. And we're sort of in the same boat we were last lap. We're making up ground, but nowhere near quick enough. Although we are starting to get into a groove with this car. They are not, though. He just hit... I'm going to imagine he hit the wall. Yep, hit the wall again. Don't hit me! Thank you. Thank you for that. Now we're going to try to cut over. And I went into the water. I'm not sure that's the best plan. I think second gear can work. I think second gear can work as a uh, as an option in some cases. Don't hit the wall. That's scary. Got a great run here on for fifth. We're starting to really find our footing with this, but this never-ending hairpin really just sucks the life out of me on this straight heading on this straightaway. That is our biggest weak spot. Is that hairpin by far? It just drags you out wider and wider and wider until you're just done. We can get on the power nice and early on the exit there. We'll even in third because we're going to lose a lot of speed on the landing. And then dive under brakes. Can we go around the outside? No, we might be able to do a cut back. No, he's going to defend that, but he's going to go Straight into the wall. Okay, that works for me. That I'll, I'll take that any day of the week. We got a twitch and almost sent it into the wall myself. That's not what you want to do. And what I want to do is go that way. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Use the downforce. I did have to modify the values again. There are some vehicles I just didn't have them upgraded for the um, correct downforce figures that these cars should have. Such a weird bug but whatever. Come on. I want to get this corner right eventually. That is not happening right now, though. My God. We Look at how we close up so much heading into that corner, and then heading out of it, we might as well be in a road legal M8. Actually, that might technically be faster around this course. Idea, perhaps. Have to investigate that later. Anyway, right now we're trying to catch a KTM for fifth. Now that KTM's a lot higher PI, but I'm not sure that's a really good thing right now for him because, well, that's going to cause, that's going to be a lot of horsepower in there and that might cause a bit of problems. Speaking of problems, the Ferrari just hit the wall. Hit the wall again. So we are going to get fifth in some capacity. As I actually get a legitimate overtake. That was an on-track overtake without him hitting... I mean, hit the wall in the first place, but I got it without him hitting the wall as I was passing. That's brilliant. Unfortunately, we're not going to catch the KTM. <laughs> oh, well, that's just brilliant. I'm not going to throw away my fifth. No! I was trying, I was trying to go 120% and it just wasn't enough. The Ferrari is right on my tail. I'm going to make this the widest BMW ever. A little bit of bump, a little bit of bump, and I'm on the inside line. He hit me back. It's all fair. He's going to back out of that. I'm on the final corner now. And it's across the line for the BMW. Oh, that was a lot closer for fifth than I would have liked. Sort of screwed up the way into the corner and then... Screwed up through it. That's got a pretty good lap, though. Not bad. Ah, that was stressful. 
That was very stressful. Ah, that was hard. So yes, the GT3 cars and the GTE and the GT4 and whatever else they have in this mixed class is bloody good fun on Motorsport and in Horizon. Really glad this car pack exists. Really glad that I didn't have to pay $10 for it because I wouldn't have gotten it either otherwise. And I just like the fact that we have proper race cars back in Horizon. So that'll be it for this episode of Forza Horizon 5. And I'll be back with more.